hi, I am a graphic and web designer. Should I work as a single man band or should I be more like an agency? What is the future? First of all, I don't know about the future, but I know that things are changing. So it really depends. You can be profitable and you can actually enjoy both. You can enjoy both. So I have a friend, he has a bigger agency, but he has a lot of responsibilities and that's something you need to take into account. So if you want to build a full blown big agency, are you ready to take all the responsibilities that come with it? Because maybe you're going to work way more, have a lot more in your head, and it really depends on your current situation. And I don't know what your situation is. And I don't know that at some stages in my life, I would have loved to do that. Have a big agency, a lot of people working for me. And that could have been one of my goals and one of my ambitions. But at some other stages in my life, I'm more like, I want to enjoy life. You know, I don't want to spend 100 hours working all the time. I don't. I just don't. I love working, but I don't want to be a slave to my work. So what you really need to think about is what is your current situation and what kind of responsibilities you want to have. So let me give you the pros and the cons. So if you're a one man band, you just answer to yourself. So the, this is the first pro. You want to go take a swim at 12 or at 1 p.m.? Go and take a swim. Nobody's going to tell you anything. You don't need to be a role model. You just do your own thing. You don't need huge offices. You don't need to have a lot of expenses. You don't need to worry about, okay, is my employee going to come to work today or are they going, going to call in sick? You don't need to think about that. You can just enjoy your business. And most of the money you make is for you. Unless, of course, you outsource. But even if you outsource, it's something you are outsourcing that you're not working on and you're still getting a margin on top of it. So it's great. Now, the issue is when you are a one-man band, well, it's an issue for some people. For some people, it's not an issue. But the issue is everything is on your shoulders. So let's say you have a lot of work. You need to finish two, three websites for the end of the week. And then you got some estimates to craft. And then one of your clients call you as an emergency because they have a big issue on the website. Maybe they have a virus or something. How can you cope? How is your stress level? And that, my friend, I cannot tell you because I've seen people react completely differently in different situations. But the best thing you should do, in my opinion, is start by being a one-man band. And you should give yourself a challenge. Try to hold for one year, at least one year, before you draw any conclusions. Because sometimes it can be really hard at the beginning, but then after a year, like, man, this is the best thing I ever did. And I was so scared when I started freelancing. But at the end of the day, I was so, so happy I did it. I would be so disappointed if I had stopped after a few months and went back to my previous life. So in my case, I managed to cope with the stress. I'm not saying it's always easy because sometimes you're like, what am I even doing this? You know, when you get some nasty clients, but I've already talked about that in a few videos where I help you to pinpoint the red flags so that you can, you get less and less of those nasty clients and you get to work with clients that you love, that love your work and you have a great relationship. And that's where I'm at now. Most of my clients, talking wood, most of my clients, I have a great relationship with them. Actually, at this time, I can say all of my clients because I haven't had a nasty client in a while. I still remember those, but still. Now, if you want to build an agency, the good thing is that you get to employ some other people. That means you need to have enough business, but you're going to employ a project manager and maybe a graphic designer and maybe you get someone that can do a lot of stuff like a hybrid web designer, web developer. You get to choose the best project for you that you want to work on. For the rest, you, you will need to manage the company. So that's one of the, the advantages is that you get people working for you so you can have less on your plate if you manage right because not everyone is a manager. Also, because you have a bigger task force, you can take on bigger jobs so you can get more money coming in so you can make more investments, get a bigger office, a bigger car. You can travel maybe if you get international. So that's one of the advantages. But now the drawback is, as I said, there's a lot more responsibilities because now you got employees and if you're lucky or if you work with a good HR firm, you get good employees. But if you just think that you're just going to change yourself into an HR headhunter and you start hiring people and you don't know how to hire people. And if you get some bad apples, 
in your company is going to be hard because if someone is employed and they decided not going to come they're going to call in sick all the time and you know do some nasty stuff just so that you pay them but they don't work then you get more pressure on your shoulders but then again for most companies big companies in the world that's the way things work you hire a good hr firm you employ the right people sometimes you get a bad apple but the good apples outweigh the bad apples so you make more money and that's great like i said it's really what do you want at this stage in your life but even if you want to go the bigger agency route just by starting with the freelancing part you're going to learn so much it's going to give you so much experience for the rest so one of the key things you need to have if you want to create a bigger company is to know how to read people and how to associate with the right people if you have this skill then maybe maybe you can really go that route but just look at yourself in your life usually you do find the right partners when it comes to business even friendship because that's going to give you a hint i'm i'm not saying that you cannot change this i'm just saying you should be honest with yourself but the first point is what do you want in life you want more responsibilities more money or you want less responsibilities make good money but just enjoy time a bit more even though let's be honest as a freelancer you're going to work so many hours that yes i said okay if you want to go and take a swim at 1 p.m. you can but then you're going to work until 1 in the morning so that's the truth but if you find the right strategy where you take on less clients but for a bigger amount of money then you can maintain a good lifestyle a healthier lifestyle so in the balance of course and i forgot to mention that earlier but do you have a family do you have other responsibilities that can really help you in your direction so i hope that's going to help you and i hope that's going to help the people watching this because this is one of the questions i kept on asking myself at the beginning should i be a freelancer or create a company so i did a mix of both i was just myself but i was pretending i was a big company and i think most of us do that and when we talk about the company we say we when the we is just me and my 10 fingers so we <laughs> but hey it's part of the fun and that's how you learn basically which direction you want to go i see you in the next one and until then take care and stay safe see ya <laughs>